Hello YouTube, just a short video to uh, discuss the trigger on the Glock Generation 5. I just received this pistol in the mail finally the other day and uh, I'd been doing my research online uh, looking into the differences between it and the previous generations I'm accustomed to. Uh, the, there's a lot of differences, they're all discussed, but most reviewers or um, YouTube folk talking about the pistol uh, seem to gloss over the trigger, uh, mentioning that the trigger was supposed to be nicer, that Glock had said so, they'd done a lot of changes to the inside, uh, the spring mechanism and all, uh, but that they themselves couldn't see a huge difference. So I, I'm of a different opinion and I wanted to put that out there. So this is my Generation 5 uh, Glock 17. Uh, I've got an empty chamber, I've got an empty magazine well, I just like to show that it's nice and safe and empty. I've got an older uh, Glock Generation 4. Uh, 17 as well with an empty chamber and an empty magazine well there's no ammunition anywhere near the table here okay this is my uh, tried and true uh, well broken in tens of thousands of rounds and yet clean at the moment because I did in fact just clean it um, so the differences yeah okay let's talk about the differences real quick they talk about the uh, front of the slide being um, beveled there supposedly making holstering more easy um, I don't know that it's going to make holstering more easy, but I welcome to the 21st century. It just looks a lot more modern. Uh, evidently, they've taken the finger grooves off of the old uh, Generation 4. Uh, see how that goes. It feels good to me at first, uh, at first touch. It almost feels like the grip is wider, but I'm sure that that's all in my head. Uh, I know that the frame is a little bit uh, wider and uh, higher to accommodate a lot of the internals that are different. They've uh, got one less pin to hold the bit that it together. They've got... Uh, beveled magazine well I'm actually pretty excited about that because supposedly it'll make it easier to get magazines in I can't see how that's a bad thing and uh, ambidextrous slide releases meaning that on the uh, generation 5 here the slide releases on both sides okay so but I'm really interested in the trigger I want to talk about that the, like I said having I had to look at the inside I can't uh, begin to talk about how different it looks on the inside um, on the old uh, generation four the way that i've always described it is i mean this is a stock trigger five and a half pound connector uh nothing's changed about the spring or anything but uh by pressing the trigger to the rear it's easy to take up well, the, ta the take up and find the wall so there's the wall you can actually hear it but you can make contact uh between the trigger bar and the connector audibly you can hear that you've done that not to mention uh obviously uh, in a tactile manner the trick is to firing a Glock uh, after you found that wall is to smoothly press the trigger so that the front sight doesn't come off the target target when uh, you break the shot. Always a bit of a challenge when you're teaching uh, how to shoot. Uh, once you found that wall, there it is. Trying to smoothly press through and defeat that extra weight, it's it doesn't want to move. It doesn't want to move. It doesn't want to move, and all of a sudden it's gone all the way to the back. So maybe I can smooth that out just a little bit. Maybe I can do a better job here this time. Okay, take that wall out. Let's try to press it to the rear. Let's try to close that distance between the trigger and the frame. More weight, more weight, more weight. And it, I felt it move and all of a sudden it had gone off. There's the wall, more weight, more weight, more weight. And it's just gone off. Okay, now I am trying here. I am, you know, I'm fairly well educated on this pistol. I'm a qualified armorer, and I'm having a hard time. Oh, there it is. I got it back a little bit. I got it back. I got it back. Okay. Now, granted, I'm not holding it properly. I'm trying to show you the trigger. Now, let's go to the Generation 5 here. This is where the excitement comes from. There's the take-up. There's the wall. Again, I can hear the contact being made between the trigger bar and the connector. I press and press and press and oh you can really see it come back you can see it come back all the way to the back when it breaks the shot there's the wall again I'm holding it cockeyed just like I was the other one and I press and press and watch it move watch it move to the back so is it smoother well yeah it's it's obviously smoother it doesn't feel like there's as much um, friction there's as what there's as much weight but there isn't any friction uh, meaning that I don't have to overcome uh, any added temporary weight as a result of friction. So it's easy to just go right through the wall and go anywhere beyond that wall to any spot in that trigger travel. Look at that, right past the wall without actually firing the gun. So to me, it's a vast improvement. What do I think it feels like? It feels a lot more like a double action. 
Um, people always get confused as novice shooters get confused by the Glock trigger thinking it feels like a single action. It feels like you, the trigger is only going to do one thing. You find that wall and then it releases the sear. Obviously that's not what it actually does. We all know. This will be a lot easier for a novice shooter to learn how to shoot them short because they can actually feel that trigger travel to the rear. It feels to me like uh, a New York 1 trigger where the, the spring is obviously heavier. Uh, New York 1 out of the factory anywhere from 8.5 to 10.5 pounds. But the added weight means that it's easy to go right past that wall uh, and barely notice it. And for whatever reason, it seems to take some of the friction out of it. Um, quick look at the internals here. We'll show you that the spring is actually coming from the front. The spring actually comes from the front of the sear here. Uh, as opposed to the back and it's captured it hooks around the front of the uh, the trigger bar crucifon uh, whereas uh, in the older models the spring pulls the crucifon from the rear so generation four here spring is at the back pulling to assist the trigger in its rearward travel in on this one the spring is at the front pushing so uh and, and it's having a real impact so i'm a fan of it i uh can't wait to get it out to the range take a shot and see how that feels uh under pressure thanks for watching